Hey guys, today we are in Dover, Ohio, standing in front of the Tallinn Herzig Funeral Home. Now we're not headed in here for a funeral, we're headed in here to check out the famous Endings Museum. Now the owner, John, has the largest funeral memorabilia collection in the world, it is in Ripley's, believe it or not. So we're about ready to head in and check it out. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. As we enter the museum, we have some awesome artwork of the Rat Pack and Jerry Lewis up here, Dean Martin's partner. And there we have Dean, his old celebrity roast, born in Steubenville, Ohio, died on Christmas Day. Some Sammy Davis Jr. May 16th, 1990. And that artwork. And as is detailed. Here we have Chuck Berry with an autograph. Chuck Berry guitar. That is cool. And Frank Sinatra. Right there. 1998. Old Blue Eyes. A display from Gilda Radner. From a card she wrote. Now down below here is something I think is cool. This is a rubbing of Jimi Hendrix's tombstone. That is really neat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that the is. Guitar is. That is cool. Then we have something from George Harrison. Concert from George. Do we have a guitar from Les Paul? It's signed. There's his funeral service. And for you country friends, we have George Jones service program. It looks like he may have signed this. Find out. Yeah, he did. That's like a pass, celebration of life. Kind of like a backstage pass they gave you at the celebration. The artwork in here is incredible. I mean, look at this. All the stars of God did a great job setting this up. That is nice. Like the Lucille Ball at the end. Elizabeth Taylor. John Belushi. Let's go check out John's memorial program. There it is. 1982 when he passed away. Then we have Bob Hope's memorial mass for Bob Hope on July 27, 2003 and a parking pass. Got a lot of people there. Richard Pryor curled at the top on that. This is pretty cool. This is Humphrey Bogart's original crypt marker from Forest Lawn Cemetery. And for all you Happy Days fans, there's Arnold's program. He's also in the Karate Kid, wasn't he? Yep, and in the Karate Kid. And Elizabeth Taylor's. That's hers. Celebration of life. For all you little rascal fans, there is Stymie's program. And tell them what this is, Bobby. It's Lionel Barrymore. He was Mr. Potter in It's a Wonderful Life. Your favorite movie. My favorite movie. And there is Grace Kelly. These are shell casings 
from the artillery salute during the funeral of President Dwight Eisenhower. And here we have a memorial program from the American Sniper. And this is kind of neat. This is Robert E. Lee's program. And it looks like it's a signed card right there. And we have Teddy Roosevelt display for George Washington and Franklin D. Roosevelt's memorial service and Ronald Reagan's carriage lantern from the horse-drawn hearse during Lincoln's funeral and hearse so that was on the hearse Jackie Robinson and right off here we have a tribute to the space shuttle you remember when you were at Bobby when that happened yeah so I do I was actually watching it it was really sad Krista McCall was the first teacher at Bobby in space there's Judith Resnick and the actor that played Scotty in Star Trek with the Beam Me Up Scotty. Said he was cremated and a portion of his cremated remains were sent into space. And they have some have a booklet of the memorial service over here. We have Neil Ar Armstrong here too. Such a Neil leader. Armstrong. Right there. Have Eleanor Roosevelt. And right below Thomas. Yeah, and he's a well-known actor, but also he is the founder of St. Jude's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. And this is probably dear to my heart. We don't always like to know, donate to them. It's just yeah. for the children. It's it's a great thing. And also it says he uh, rests in the mausoleum on the grounds of St. Jude's. Yeah, did not know that. Lucille Ball. Everybody knows who Lucille Ball yeah, is. I loved Lucy. She was funny. And we have Joan Rivers. This artwork of Lucille Ball is really nice. And Audley Nelson. Now look at this. Read that. Stop crying. This is supposed to be a fun night. Wow. He died in 2010. All right beside him in this case is the Duke, John Wayne couple little cards from his stuff that one and this one right here June 11th 1979 have Flo Joe's program she died of a heart attack on an airplane flight Sherry Lewis there's old lamb chop anybody remember lamb chop Anybody that attended her funeral received a land chop doll and a pen. Right there they are. Dr. Seuss. 1991. Catch him. Who drew Dennis the Menace. Look at that. Have Dennis crying. Then we have Chuck Jones over here. Bob Clampett drawing this character, crying also. And when Janis Joplin died, Rolling Stone did a tribute magazine to her. Right there it is. Here we have Ray Charles. And this is one, it's kind of neat, Clark Gable. This is service. 1960. Arthur Ashe. We have Joe Lewis and Michael Jackson. And Jackie Kennedy. Whitney Houston. Died February 18, 2012. Here we have Buddy Rich. 
Sam Cook. There's Johnny Cash Memorial Tribute. There we go. There's a card from the Elvis Presley family. We got Buck Owens, Buddy Holly, and John Lennon. They did a memorial service for Toto. Right there's the card from it. He died in 1945. And what do we have down here? This is the headrest used by the undertaker for the funeral of the outlaw Jesse James. Wow. That's something. And everybody knows who this is. Casey Kasem. Used to listen to him all the time, top 40s. He was great on the radio, and he's also Shaggy from Scooby Doo. From some Mickey Mouse ears assigned by Annette. And there's her program. It says Walt Disney Studio Theater, June 24th, 2013. Betty Page, famous pinup, 2008. She died of a heart attack at 85 years old. Princess Diana. Everybody probably remembers where they were at when that happened, that car wreck. Nelson Mandela. Bob's. Inventor and co-founder of Apple. statue in there. There it is. Steve Jobs. And Bob Evans. I like Bob Evans' food. Have a little section to inventors. Here we have the guy that invented the wireless TV remote control. Now I have never seen one of these before. Those are you just shoot the beam and it turned it on and off. And you have the edge of sketch. And the man who invented super glue. Malcolm X. Shot to death at age 39. And Martin Luther King also age 39. Didn't realize they were both the same age. Neither. Then we Dude. have Rosa Parks. She lived to 92 years old. And she's best known for the First Lady of the Civil Rights. Some inventors over here. It's a guy who invented the pacemaker. And there's a pacemaker right there. And Samuel Morris. Morse code and a frisbee, the guy who invented the frisbee, Fred Morrison. As we exit the door off to the left when you first come in, there's also a lot more stuff out here. Have a poster of Michael Jackson's memorial service. There's a newspaper article of the man that owns all this, but this thing off to the right is what we're really looking at, smoking Joe Frazier. Yeah, look how they displayed it. It looks like it's in a boxing ring. Yeah, that is, that is so neat. Home going celebration for smoking Joe Frazier. Now it said Frazier's wish was to have all his funeral items donated to this museum. Has some things on Albert Einstein and Eleanor Roosevelt, but these are ones I'm more impressed with. These are rubbings from Doc Holliday's tombstone and Wyatt Earp. Look at that. This happens to be your favorite it movie, is isn't it? My, tombstone. My all time favorite movie. There he is. Right below them. This Mickey Mantle.
What do we have over here, Bobby? Oh, Robert Ripley. Ripley's Believe It or Not. There's his card. Harry Houdini. Where's here? Oh, Harry Houdini. Wow. There's Florence Nightingale. There's his everything in here. There's her service. And P.T. Barnum. Barnum and Bailey. For Patsy Klein. There's her program. Killed in that tragic plane crash. Buried in Winchester, Virginia. We'll have to make it down to her house. Do a tour of it. Loved watching Evil Knievel back in the day. I even had the toys when I wound it up. And motorcycle took off. Here we have some Rodney Dangerfield. But look what they gave out at his funeral. We have a bookmark, a cookie, and a red tie. I like that cookie. It's yeah. really, they did a good job yeah. on that. Look at that. That is neat. Displayed a Arnold Palmer. It says Arnold Palmer, life well played. There's a Harvey. Remember listening to him? I do. Every day I would listen to him at work. There's an autograph photo of Paul. Here we have Vera Fawcett. Yeah, she was 2009. The original Charlie Angels. Mm hmm. Walter Cronkite. Leave it to Beaver. And Barbara Billingsley. You know who she's related to? Peter Billingsley. Yeah, and Ralphie. And we got Paul Newman. Got Bobby Kennedy. And down here we have Don Knotts. And Don Knotts is from our hometown. Yeah, we did a vlog on Don Knotts. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Kind of show you all the sights around Morgantown. And there's what, oh, there's Andy Griffith. There's a sign. Thing for Andy back here. Signed photo. It says, to John. Thank you, Andy Griffith. And a round from the funeral of John F. Kennedy. Hidden guest list from Marilyn Monroe. You still see it. It's kind of faded, but you can still see it. Goodbye, Norma Jean. That was her real name. Yep, Norma Jean. It's displayed in Muhammad Ali. It's an original memorial service program, it says. Look at that. Ali. Remember seeing him and Howard Cosell always go at it. Ernie Davis, the Syracuse running back that died before he even got to play a pro football game. Yeah, George Patton. Up below him, Vince Lombardi. There's an original funeral service program signed by many of the players. There's Bart Starr. One of the cards. Neat display of James Garfield, 20th President of the United States. We have a couple mourning vests that were worn at his funeral. Look at that. There you see me. 1881. Wow. This is a newspaper, front page newspaper, when James Dean was killed in his hometown. That said, so this hung in the former James Dean Museum until it closed in 2005. Coming out through here, you have a display of Lee Harvey Oswald. Just stuff everywhere. And here is the owner. That Ripley's Believe It or Not says 
John Hersig has a 500 piece collection of memorabilia from funerals of historic figures, celebrities, and royalty. I guess a lot more than that today. Something rare in this room. We have Gladys Presley's burial contract made out by Vernon Presley. Let's look at this. Miss Gladys Presley, August 14th, 1958. She was married, housewife, as her occupation. It's a place of death where she lived. Highway 51, that's Graceland. And we have the relatives that have survived her. There you can see Elvis Presley and her husband Vernon. There's the rest of her family. Tells what music. It's going to say the Blackwood Brothers. Says who's going to pay for it. Right there. Elvis Presley's going to pay for it. There's the coffin. How much it cost. All the other bills of lot. For a grand total of... $19,632. A lot of money back in 1958. That is rare to see. Remember in Davy Jones, 1945 to 2012. Now let's go look at these cases. There is Kobe Bryant. And there's a little girl. That one's really sad. That is it? sad. Right there. Used to watch the Globetrotters all the time. Robin Leach, remember him? I do. Larry Hagman. Larry Hagman. JR. I loved that show, Dallas. Plus, he was an I Dream of Genie, right? Yes, he was. So, autograph Casey Kaysen. We have one of those. Yeah. Can't miss Charlie Daniels. Look back there. The Undertakers, Paul Bear. Oh, that's different. Buckwheat. Lone Ranger, Clayton Moore. Put that book. DJ Fontana, Elvis's drummer. That's a nice setup, how they did that. That is nice. Great drummer. Chris Kyle again. Just a lot of stuff. This is Peggy Sue. I'm thinking that's oh, probably... Oh, yeah, off Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. There's where the song came from. Peggy Sue. Wow. Rush fans, the drummer. Neil Perter's drumsticks. Tim Conway. Prince. Prince. River Phoenix. There's his program. And it looks to me like a newspaper from Abraham Lincoln back then. Dated 1865. Boy, that's old. Wow. Death right there. Death of the president. With you, something here. This just helps out a little bit. Some of the pictures have numbers on them, and on each one of the tables, there's a book, and it says Famous Endings Museum salutes and remembers those who, whose lives changed our world. Like 13, if you didn't know who this was, you'll see him here. There it is, Jackie Gleason. Okay. You go to the page, find him, and there he is. Tells a little Tells story a little about, bit about him. And that's nice, isn't it? It is nice. So that's what all these numbers mean. You get the book off the table and you can match them all up and read what happened to them all. Miss going around here. Higgins the dog, which was Benji, but they also played in Petticoat Junction as a character of dog. Had roles on the Green Acres and the Beverly Hillbillies. Didn't know that that dog was in all of that. He was a busy dog actor. He was. Died at the age of 17. And there's the trainer. Aaron and 
Connie Francis. This is 20-year-old Bobby Darren's handwritten love letter to singer Connie Francis. Right there. I can't hardly read it, so I couldn't really tell you what it says. I just tell you at the end, it says, I love you and miss you. Love, Bobby. There's his card. There's an autograph from Connie. Well, that's pretty sweet that they hung on the door after he passed away. Hello, my name is John Hurst. That. that is rare. Here at Tolan Hersey Funeral Home. Exited the famous Endings Museum. What did you think of it, Bobby? I really liked it. Uh, the owner of all the autographs mm -hmm. was not there, but they have a little film that you can watch, and it was really interesting <laughs> listening to a lot of his stories but, and how yeah. he got the autographs. Especially the one about Benji. Benji the dog told a story about him. Higgins. Yeah. Higgins. That was so cool. We showed you Higgins in there, but we didn't know until we watched the video that he was adopted from yeah. an animal shelter. And then when he passed away, along with Arnold the pig and what was the other? Orangey the cat. Don't really know him. They had him cremated, and he's buried with the trainer now, the owner of it. Well, how cool was that? So that was a really neat place. A lot of neat stuff. The, his daughter was in there. She showed us some stuff. It was just a pretty neat place to come to if you're up in the Dover, Ohio area next to the Canton Football Hall of Fame, Amish country. You need to maybe come here and check this place out. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.